you think about the steering when we actually get onto the road here? Do you see out of that mirror? <laughs>
Like it is literally all over the road. And like, it yeah, wouldn't yeah. be, if you just kind of bounce it side to side, you probably stay more or less straight. No, I see. But like, yeah, look how much slack there is. That's not me getting the... No, but that's right at the base of the steering column into the rack of pinion. And all of that's in that rack of pinion. Because the steering column itself, all the U-joints are really down are tight. When you move the steering wheel, they move. It's so is there a way to tighten down in. like the way the rack? I said I'd look into it after we test drive. Am I good that it. way? It is fucking, that is just, wow. <laughs> that is, the, like, out of, out of all the vehicles I've driven. Like, I've driven cars that have been, like, rolled and smashed, and this is the worst I've ever driven. Through Wander. Like, this is worse than Coletta's, Coletta's, like, one tons. Like, the, the 5500s when the steering box was all loose, and the mm -hmm. steering wheel was messed up, and, like, before we tightened everything. Like, this is so much worse than that. No, we gotta get a cell phone. Oh, right. It's right there. You wanna drive though? Yeah, I got right here. Why not? Let's just go. Okay, well, you can drive from I'll my drive house on the way back. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing music with chairs on the fucking road. Yeah. I like the rumble of this car. The clock is off. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what we're gonna complain about. Yeah, the clock is wrong. I do like the clock though, the way they styled it into the dash. Was, do you think that's original? Do you think that's like one of the original stylings of the car? Probably. 1951? Oh, the ticker doesn't even work. I had that on. I thought I did. I don't believe you. No, I'm not really one for signaling anyways. Yeah. It's more of a courtesy to others. It's not really... Not really something I do. I'd have to do something with that mirror. I'd have to actually make it usable. Oh, it is. That's that mirror much. is absolutely useless. Yeah, I'm looking at the road right now, and you're probably looking at like the side. I can't even see it. I have to like do this to see it. Clear on my side after. Ooh, on my red team. So if this is actually Miles per hour. I'd say I'm doing 35. Got it. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Because nope. at 35 miles per hour, that's about 60 kilometers. More than that. So 70. I'm not doing 70 right now.
Yes, I am. Do you have any comments? Besides it being terrifying when I'm on the highway? It is very scary. It is, it is scary. I, mean, I get thrown around everywhere. Like 60, yeah, 60s. Like, yeah, it's... I don't think that one's even washed. No. <laughs> hey, look, another Ford with the headlight out. Seems to be a thing. Yeah, it's always a lot of signs. Seems to be a thing. Same truck, too, identical. F-150, 2013. Yeah. I'm just watching the oil pressure. We're sitting right around that 15 mark. Which is wash. No. It's good. You can need to wash the engine a little bit. You can smell, you can smell a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really bad, like even on this rough road, even going low speed, like it's still burning. Oh, no. It like it it wants to kind of Yeah, like it's not. Aside from that, I know you can't tell how fast you're going. I'm just gonna go right slow. there. This irritates me. I can't look behind you. Play between the steering column and that rack. 
be an old. Uh, it's not a cable one. It's not. I don't think so. Everything looks very. It, it acts like a cable the way it bounces. What is it? The old cable ones would bounce until they like got into the hierarchy. Yeah. The higher speeds, I should say. When it hit bumps, it really fucking. It's all over. Yeah, yeah it jerks it. Pothole steers really bad. I wonder what if a guy added like a dampener. I think it would help. Uh, I don't know because it's not the actual steering. Because when I steer, I actually have perfect but, steering. But a dampener will stop the wheels from darting. I don't think the wheels are darting so much as you don't have that steady pressure in your hand. That's what I mean. That's what a dampener would do. But it would have to be on. Uh, I still don't know if that would work. Because I know, shop, like, I just this needs to go. I away. know the bigger trucks, like, they'll have that play, but the weight. Ooh. Nice car. Uh, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> yeah, both of us just work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're too old. We don't look at women anymore. We're we look at cars. cars yeah. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Do you remember what you were talking about these? Well, yeah. You so, like that? on the heavy heavy duty trucks, like yeah. they'll have that steering plate. Yeah. They um, to get that that wobble Turn out of them. You, here on the well, you could do that, and... but you can also you can also um, add a, st a steering stabilizer, and it doesn't make like it does a lot. Because it just creates that tension and doesn't allow the steering, like you have to manually force it. Pass it. Past the, the restriction of that. So it kind of like always has tension on that and will just kind of fight the road for you. So then, well, when we get back to the shop, we'll get it up. And um, are we almost done with that? Christmas? At your age, that's a, that's a thing now. That's a thing. Cialis. Cialis. Uh, the, the little blue pill. I've never, I don't know. Five or I'm, I don't think I'm that, I'm not that age yet. Where I the... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I got you now, this blackmail. Well, it's just pure comedy right now. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Just ride along. Well, <laughs> this is actually what me and Chad talk about <laughs> on a regular basis. <laughs> Aside from getting that O-ring, did you find the O-rings for that EC? Joanna's going to pick them up when we're done. We could actually stop there on our way back. Where are we going? Competition chip. Oh, I don't oh. have... Oh, I have my wallet. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's do that then. Because as soon as that's done, we can get the Corvette out of there, send it over to the muffler shop, and we can I this. ordered. I ordered an aftermarket a complete system for the okay. Super 10s. So are we putting it in, or are they still doing it? Uh, so I no, I, I got to talk to Craig, but we, I think I will put it in. We can, it's a bolt-in system. It's wider pipes and everything. Craig said he wanted it, like, loud. It's down to trade, trade vehicles. It's so loud. Wow, that brake, guys. There's, like, no power assist at all. No, 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 no. It's, these, I like these old ones, though, because it's just... feel it? Yeah, you feel everything about them, like. Like my 1970 is very similar. The only thing I do want on my 1970 is I want disc on the front. It has drum front. I have drum back. front and back. So I want to do a disc brake conversion um, on it. And she went through three years before you even.
broken clock is right twice a day. Oh, yeah, I guess. In the a.m. and the p.m. Unless it's a military clock, then it's only right once a day. Well, now you're just grasping at straws. Or, no, you're or just, clocks. You're taking, <laughs> you're taking away the... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, where you want me to park? Though? Well, I was thinking parts, but no, it's okay. I'll walk. Parts is right there. <laughs> this is bitching about. Here, let me back up a little bit. Oh, you gotta, you gotta let me out too. Right? Or does this one work? You in my world now, boy. Uh, it does not work. Don't leave me and make me walk back to the shop. Shop. Okay. I'm old walking her.